initial setback with Shubman Gill's health, Team India is facing another setback in the form of injury in the ongoing Men's World Cup. Hardik Pandya injured his left ankle in his very first over against Bangladesh in Pune. During his follow-up, while trying to stop a ball hit by the batsman going past him, he used his right foot to do so and in the process ended up falling on his left foot, injuring his left ankle. While the team management maintains that the injury is not too serious, he has already been ruled out of the next match and a key one at that versus New Zealand on Sunday. Now that presents a question for the team of exactly who do they bring in to replace Hardik Pandya, who is one of the few irreplaceable players in the Indian squad. Ravindra Jadeja and Shardul Thakur, the two other all-rounders, are already playing in the squad. So the question is whether they would like to blood in a batsman or a bowler in place of Hardik Pandya. Now Hardik Pandya has bowled 15 overs and taken 5 wickets in the matches he has played so far versus somebody like Shardul Thakur who has bowled more overs but has picked up only 2 wickets in the matches that he has played so far. R. Ashwin played only the first match against Australia in spin-friendly conditions versus, uh, in Chennai. So the question is whether the team would like to blood in maybe somebody like Ishan Kishan who has also played two matches in the absence of Gill and is amongst runs and play him in the lower middle order or even look at somebody like Surya Kumar Yadav for his firepower towards the lower middle order to cover up for the Hardik Pandya batting in the side. That also gives the team an option to possibly blood in finally no. Mohammad Shami who has been warming the bench so far in place of Shardul Thakur. But so far the team has given an indication they do prefer Shardul Thakur because of the added batting depth that he provides. Regardless of what the team does, this is going to be one of the toughest tests that the team is facing as far as this World Cup is concerned because so far it's been pretty easy going for them. And while Hardik Pandya has not been bowling his full quota of overs, as a batsman is extremely important. So it remains to be seen exactly what the team management does, but certainly Hardik Pandya is not a player that is easily replaceable. Would they like to blend in more batsmen or bring in extra bowling options is the big question because not having Hardik Pandya would mean that the team is left with only five bowlers. They do like to have the cushion of an all-rounder in Hardik Pandya bowling a few overs as well.